the amazing things about uh, the nighttime is that the nighttime is very special whether you're a believer or not. One of the things that psychologists often discuss is that um, nights are usually uh, considered a spiritual time. So they talk about how usually people are more willing to share uh, and they're usually more in touch with their feelings and their emotions at night. And this is why you see uh, when people go out on dates and stuff like that, when, are, when do they usually go out? During the day or at night? Um, so people are more likely to be in touch with their spiritual side uh, and their feelings and their emotions. And what Islam does is that it takes advantage of this time. So while other people are busy doing every, every other things, uh, a believer takes that spiritual time and they take that emotional time and they devote it to their Lord. And one of the things that the scholars often talk about is that the night is a testimony of a person's love. So whatever a person loves, you'll see that they'll usually devote their night to that. So if a person's only concern in life is to have fun and party and maximize pleasure, they'll spend their night trying to do that. If a person's concern is their afterlife and their love for Allah, then they'll spend their night in concern about their akhirah. And they'll spend their night devoted to Allah Azza wa Jal. As Allah Azza wa Jal said, That those who believe, they're stronger in their love for uh, Allah Azza wa Jal. It's no secret, it's no surprise that uh, our ummah today, our nation today, is not doing too well. And I hate to be negative, I hate to be you know, negative about issues, but this is just a reality. And the point isn't for us to become depressed and say, we're a goner and there's nothing we can do. The point is, how do we bring ourselves out of this situation? And how do we become like the companions And this is why one of the things that is often said by the classical scholars and even scholars of our time is that if we want to rectify this ummah, if we, want to if we really, really care about this ummah, we really want to change this ummah, then we will not be able to do it except that which changed the beginning of this ummah. I Meaning if we really care, we really, we really want the ummah to progress. Now we're Muslims living in the West and we care about Muslims in America. And we really want Muslims to be in a better state. Then we have to look at the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and how the companions did it. And it is in that that we're going to find uh, our, our ummah come to life. And the thing about the companions, like I mentioned, is that what they had and what is missing from, from our time is that, that attribute of going above and beyond uh, the bare minimum. Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas he says about the companions, he said, I did not see a single companion. He said, I did not see a single companion except that they would take something from the night. Meaning they would pray some type of Qiyam al-Layl. And one of the questions, one of the most off questions I get from young people is, you know what, my Iman is just not doing too well. Like I have a dip in my Iman and I just don't feel it anymore. Or a lot of times people who start practicing Islam, they'll have this Iman high and they're doing really, really well. And then a time will come where they'll be like, you know, it just doesn't feel the same anymore. Or a lot of times reverts and converts will say, when I first became Muslim, it was the most amazing experience of my life. And I want that back. I want that experience back. And one of the first questions I ask these people is, how is your connection with Allah? How is your qiyam al-layl? When was the last time you got up in the middle of the night or in the last third of the night to pray to your Lord? And if the answer, answer usually is, well, I don't, I don't really do that. I mean, I just try to do my five daily prayers. I'm just happy if I can get that in. And I tell them, I say, listen, if you're cutting off your connection with Allah, how are you going to get better? You can't expect your iman to just get fixed all of a sudden on its own. It's not going to happen. You have to take steps for you to become a better Muslim. You have to take steps to reach that level of iman. When it comes to Qiyam al-Layl, one of the advices I often give, and I give this advice because this was the advice given to me by my teachers, is if you want to pray Qiyam al-Layl, all you have to do is just try it. And I'm not talking about spending a third of the night praying or half of the night praying. I'm saying get up 10 minutes before Fajr. Just 10 minutes before Fajr. And we know the Prophet told us that it is the last third of the night where Allah comes down to the lowest parts of the heaven and He asks, 
He says, which one of my servants is seeking my forgiveness that I may forgive them? And which one of my servants is seeking my mercy that I may be merciful, merciful for them? Which one of my servants is asking of me that I may give to them? And that, that third of the night is still there in the last 10 minutes before Fajr. So all I'm saying is wake up 10 minutes before Fajr. Not an hour, not two hours before Fajr, 10 minutes before Fajr. And try and, and, and pray Qiyamul Layl and experience this amazing spiritual nature that Allah has given us, this blessing that Allah has given us. And when you get up in the night, number one, you'll see your heart transform. You'll feel your heart unlike you've ever felt it before. And I know a lot of us, and this is a problem which is very, very common, where we look at Islam and all we see is a bunch of things we have to do. And, and we're missing that spiritual side of Islam. We're missing that connection with Allah and our Creator. And I tell you that if you're seeking that connection, then get up and pray Qiyamul Layl. You will see your heart transform. You will see this tranquility and peace that Islam is supposed to be. You know, people talk about Islam. Islam means peace and all that kind of stuff. If you will really want to experience that, get up in that last third of the night. Get up for 10 minutes and you will see that peace and tranquility descend upon you. Are you tired of all these annoying ads on YouTube? Are you worried that a haram video might pop up? Well, the One Islam TV app is here to solve these problems, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is 100% free of any ads and is safe to browse for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest or drive with your device switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets and so much more. Two to four new videos uploaded daily, inshallah. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means a small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders. Insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.